with a yo ho ho, it's Taylor the Toaster. Welcome back to level 99 competition route matches right here in Inazuma 11 Go Galaxy. I am currently thinking of the best way to level up Trina. Let's do some Dino Escape because I've never enhanced her stats before and she is on the Ozrock team even when she's not on my regular level 99 uh, squadron. I am not using the Ozrock team today because uh, the match we're going to do is the second match against Chrono Storm in the level 99 series but it is also the final match of the right hand side. I pointed to the right but I've just realized I flipped my um, <laughs> my direction in editing so the tail of the toaster poster behind me the tail of the poster um, doesn't have the words written backwards on it um, and I'm glad I can still point at that because like I said in a previous episode I'm, I'm obviously moving house fairly soon I'm amazed I still have time to actually record in this household before moving uh, Trina's dribble is also pretty low but we are quite reliant on uh, natural love so let's put some points into that her block is not maxed out but Trina does have the absolute highest um, block stat in the game and she also does not need her kick stat whatsoever so it's absolutely fine to just train her um, to the max while also sacking off all of her other stats all she really needs is block and a bit of dribble maybe stuff like technique I don't know let's uh, let's stick that on dribble let's try it one more time um, so like Trina she's been a static member of the Ozrock squad she's she goes right up at the front line to be some some easy blocking and dribbling uh, alongside where else could we yeah have it on technique alongside Ozrock and KMC uh, but because we did train her up, this is the same Trina from my actual Let's Play, so there's no reason to say we can't also use her in uh, regular Osrock free matches as well. I just I just don't because I'm really happy with my defensive lineup for actually shot blocking and stuff. Trina, to be honest, is more of a midfielder within that uh, roster. This time I'll do a, a split of dribble and block and then we'll call it a day. Um, with an excellent, which helps. Trina is always going to be an option um, for our squad, so let's like not forget about her. Um, I'll tell you what. Let's just let's just round that off by auto. I will buy exactly three points, which costs almost as much as the Dino Escape does. Um, I was scared that I thought I'd accidentally click the one that deletes your stats. Uh, by all accounts, it would have been better to just do the snowman one or something, but whatever, we move. So I'm not going to necessarily use her in this match, um, but it's good to know that she is trained up so that if we do want to use her again, um, she will actually be optimized because I kind of just put her on the squad early on thinking well she's really good at blocking and she's got a, uh, a dribble that she can spam so let's um, let's do that but I failed to uh, <laughs> remember a bit later on once I'd actually gotten into the process of training my players up um, that I could do that anyway I'm rambling but I'm also showing the skip travel that I would normally cut out because uh, again I would have released this ages ago at the time where you're actually watching this but in terms of recording date, I have just recorded a YouTube short called The Biggest Problem with Go Galaxy, and it is purely showing how long it takes to get from the dark room to this particular competition route. You have to skip so many cutscenes and don't do so many different things um, just to get from one to the other. It's really a bit ridiculous how far they, how many steps there are to get from one to the other. Um, but nevertheless, under the captaincy of Simeon 8, let's try once again to beat Chrono Storm, this time in a different route. And we'll make use of our pausing strategy at the start to try and ensure an early goal. Who are my 
well, we know who our opponents are. I guess this is just basically Chrono Storm, but Bylong is on the squad, whereas the other Chrono Storm has Soul uh, on the pitch. So that's my excuse to make a Bylong thumbnail, of course, if we have any interactions with him, which we probably won't, but um, he's loaded with shot blocks. Um, Ricardo does have Einsatz, despite the fact he did not have that as a member of Chrono Storm. That's annoying because he will block a lot of our shots so will so will all of them to be honest we basically can't long shot and our uh, counter shots will be easily stopped by most of them Roma is all the way back here sucks to be him what's the intended formation for this team because clearly it it can't be this they're using the Ryman uh, one to be honest I would put Faye in the back he's got ozone flare move Roma a little further up but you do you, they do still try to pretend that Faye is a forward. I'll never get why they made Faye a forward. Well, I do get it. It's because he's meant to be the main forward of um, Gaal, the villainous team that he's, like, later a part of. He makes sense as their forward, but on Ryman, he has no business being a forward whatsoever. He's completely outclassed by his own teammates, and... He doesn't feel like a forward anyway, he's like, his fighting spirit is for a forward, but he's got a great dribbling move, a great blocking move, and then his, his shots aren't even that good to be honest, and even with the pausing strategy we have failed the goal to get a freebie at the start. Because turns out Ryman's formation is too strong. Uh, we could recover it. Nah, we don't. Well, that would have been nice. How annoying that as soon as we uh, do the practice match with Ozrock to get myself ready for action, I then, like, immediately fumble as soon as he's not there through reasons that have nothing to do with him. <laughs> like, that was a fumble that I would have made with anybody. But um, let's bring it back, though. One tap, don't buffer a second one. Pass it over there. We can still be a pausing goat, and JP has not even brought out his fighting spirit yet. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to hit you with a mortal smash anyway. Okay, we clawed that back well enough. Um, I'm happy. Um, JP can waste some of his regular TP. It's still, it's still 2015. That's the, the year that uh, Go... No, Go 1 came out in... Yeah, it's the year that Chrono Stones came out in Europe, so that's uh, fairly fitting. Um, Simeon, we will... Do we remove him straight away? I think so, yeah, because JP is going to... Well... I was going to say let's fire off a shell burst first, at least, but no, this uh, this squad is absolutely not built for that whatsoever, but oh well, I just don't feel like taking him off yet. So let's, let's get a final use out of him, and it sets itself up very, very nicely as it turns out. Can we win this over Ozone Flare? I should have gone for Eye of the Storm for a type advantage over it, but he did not pop the move anyway, so... Let's see how close we can get. Well, that was really down to the wire, actually. No, nah, forget it. Saw can try and block it, but he won't be able to stop it outright. Uh, and JP still, by the way, hasn't brought out his spirit. That's so strange. He's still going to be able to stop us regardless, just on the totality of his stats. But JP is throwing right now the next long shot we pop might actually just go in so if if you can take this pants again they've got way too many defenders for shell burst to make it to the end anyway but you know what let's get in there early and take advantage of JP throwing let's get a goal with March of the Penguins and then he can bring out his uh, his spirit. All right, Simeon. I nearly had him offside. You can do it with a... Okay, now he's finally doing it. 
which uh, perhaps changes the strategy a little bit. Can we bring anyone up front for this? Or do I just kind of let him let him have this one? Yeah, nobody else is near enough. Tezcat could have done the run, but I'd rather just uh, use a last play with Simeon in vain. And then we'll get rid of him uh, at the earliest opportunity. He can swap places with Arculus, whose uh, Pegasus Punch can beat out Marge in the Hand. And Song of the Three Kingdoms when we get to that point. Um, we should be okay. A, a second goal would, would look nice on the resume, but I won't get too picky. You know what, Roma, we were, we were questioning why they'd have him in defence, but he's actually uh, been working out fairly well. If he goes for another charge, he would auto-lose to Tezcat here, but then Tezcat won't be able to score with Executioner's Axe. But you know what? I want to do that. Ah. We may have made a misplay. We may have screwed up. We might have quite mightily... Yeah. Yeah, we have. Oh, well. Unless... Yeah, there was no unless. We we knew we'd screwed up. Um, but we'll own it. Roma is, in fact, being the biggest threat to us right now from a position that makes absolutely no sense. But let's... Oh, Tezcat's there. You know what, it worked though. It shouldn't have. I should have been punished for playing badly. But, but I, I, uh, I get away with it regardless. Go on, just let it in, JP. It would be funny. I would laugh. Well, we've, we've forced him to armify on the next action, um, which is some consolation. Uh, give? Give ball? Oh, Goldie! That was so close, actually! That was the chance um, to get an extra shot in, but never mind. Uh, this Goldie can work out a lot better, actually. Um, let's just fire off one of these and force them to use um, some short blocks. And Goldie can be replaced by... It, will, it could have been Trina if I'd put her on the squad, but never mind. Uh, we, we used up one jungle jam. That was the totality of what was achieved. Um, this was going pretty well up until the point where we took a risk and the whole game plan has suffered as a result. Let's try Nord because he's got a type advantage. Um, Tezcat, you can stay there for now to use what's left of your arm. Now, to be honest, he's probably already lost it, so let's Bring in Victor. Uh, we'll do Arculus first. Goldie, you, yeah, you can do one more thing. I suppose we don't really have any suitable subs um, for you anyway. We need four goals here. And that's uh, looking a bit of a distant dream, especially because we've already used a March of the Penguins, and it did not work. That's not grand plan! What the heck? I, I was all locked and loaded, ready for the grand plan, and they just they just didn't do it. Here's my biolog thumbnail moment. Uh, warp step. Look at this! Too cool. And now we'll take the ball from him anyway. And now we'll take the ball from him anyway. Pants versus Bylong moment. Number two versus number three. You love to see it. And I'm just going to use the other special attack. Oh, we leveled up Floral Fiesta. That's nice. Let's have a Thunderbolt. Because I just, I just need to get back into the action super, super fast. 
Who are they bringing a spirit out on? Saw, apparently. Well, at least that means he can't shot block for as long as he's in uh, Jag Warrior. But, yeah, this is looking a little bit too much for us at the moment. I don't think this is going to be an S rank. But let's try and make it an A rank at the very, very least. Ah, that, that was a... Uh, overwhelmingly weaker than my expectations. Njord is not somebody that I've trained in the dark room at all. Um, clearly, he requires it because 1854 type advantage, that should have been like a free win for Njord in that position, but uh, yeah, nowhere close because he's entirely unoptimized. So that's somebody else that could have just been Trino again. I got a critical on my zero power charge. Uh, guess I should have gone for a dribble interaction after all or something. This is just so annoying because I'm doing so much worse. The moment I remove Osrock and KMC, even though they... Well, they, they would have clearly scored in the position where Njord Snow didn't. I'll, I'll give him that, but... Nord, try again! Apparently he can afford Icicle Road twice, which is not something that I'd even considered. He could be a better version of Victor with her Lancelot Lunge, because Icicle Road is still a bit stronger than that, right? And it's, it's a more useful type in Wind Element. Once again, JP was uh, too strong for it, and he blocked it, but... Again, that probably would have been a goal if I'd spent even a little bit of time training him up. So I think that will be the adaptation that I make ahead of the next video. We'll take Njord down to the dark room because if he can afford two icicle roads and we can make it a bit stronger, he could be a real late game threat all of a sudden. Um, so meanwhile is significantly more threatening. So I'm oh, I could have auto won. He went for a charge, no way. I had no expectations of him to do that. Um, can I even afford anything here? Nope. We are winning at the end of the day, but uh, if they make it to goal, there's not a great deal I can do about them because we've run out of special tactics. Uh, we at least ran out by Long's TP, granted, but... Um, yeah, this is a bit of a flat way to end the route, I would suggest. We were only able to win that because Bylong couldn't do a move. If he did anything, we were nowhere near. Um, who can I pass to? I have to be really careful to not be offside with Arculus, but let's get a second goal for the insurance, please. That is... So much stronger. Yeah, Nord's not even Mixy Max, is he? So I guess we'll just. Next episode, we'll give him the whole treatment. We'll give him a Mixy Max uh, that might have access to Spirit Big Moves, and we will. Oh, I see. That's the reason he can afford to do Icicle Road twice. It's because he doesn't have Spirit Big Moves. Um, but maybe we consider keeping him that way. Uh, at the very least, there's, there's no point in him being in a weakened state like that, so we'll we'll do at least something uh, with him. For now, it's once again a narrow win on Chrono Storm. I don't think I can beat Acrobatic Keep, even in this state, to be honest. He didn't even let me try! <laughs> At least, at least show there was a duel. There was actually only 100 points apart. Uh-oh. Wait a second. Are they going to score? Because I don't have any tactics left. I even just about managed to click the FS... Uh, the Fighting Spirit button to the point where it highlighted... Um but it was a little too slow to try and bring out Mammoth or um, the other one. So yeah, you can just, you can just, well, maybe, okay. 
We just about lived that one, and now let's just do a bit of a waste of play that's not going to work because you know we've we've got nothing left to strive for here. I will I will go and uh, I'll give this match another try off screen. I would imagine. Ah, a waste of play indeed. Yes, he does have chrysanthemum katana. Um, with Blam dunk. We, we've used this move so much with Xavier as a shot block that we maybe could have considered that, but it's fine. At least I got a step towards leveling it up. Blam down! Good try, mate. That was Arian's voice uh, being displeased about a goal being scored on his team, even though we don't have an Arian, and they do... I thought I'd wired it up so that it would use Simeon or Arculus' voice. Well, I, yeah, that's it. Um, Simeon and Arculus do not have goals scored against voice clips. Only Arian and Mark do. Um, so it's still their voice when I score a goal, but it is Arian's whenever they score against me, which is funny because Arian's team just scored on us. Finally, we can beat Roma, but it was too late. We still won at the end of the day. Well, that was a wee bit embarrassing. I'm glad we got the actual voice line for a... Uh, we don't always get the lines of dialogue to match up quite that nice, quite that neatly, but I'll still claim my mini reward, which is Big Bang Slash, the LBX move. Um, tell you what, Let's save the game, give it to someone, and show you it. I've obviously used it quite a lot in my Chrono Stones uh, level 99. Well, I say quite a lot. I've used it maybe two or three times. But um, let's once again make Arculus the, the dummy for this. And show off a very rare... <gasps> oh, yeah! I have one of those! that I got while I was doing level 99 matches off screen. Oh well, next episode we'll use that as well. Um, we've got quite a lot to do, all things considered. For now, we'll just give him back Big Bang Slash that he's absolutely not gonna keep. Do I have him in my fiver side? Yes, I do. You will, well, we actually noticed him. <laughs> Fitting line of dialogue. I did save, right? Before doing that. Well, I guess I'll find out, because I need to redo that match anyway, I guess. And try and get a bit more than an S rank on it. But here's Big Bang Slash from the Little Battlers Experience series. This is Vanyamano's move. It's cool, it scores, and then we quit without saving. That was an Arculus voice line for us. Um, so that's going to be the end of the video, essentially. But at the start of the next one, I will probably begin from the point of having rematched... Um, Chrono Storm, see if I can get that closer to an S rank. Okay, yes, I did save, but I will. I'm now going to retry it, and when you see me in the next episode, we're going to feedback on how well we did in the Chrono Storm's second try, level up Nord's stats a bit, and try and use an Ultimate Evolution manual on someone. See you then.